Right, you may have seen this uh, already played on the uh, Newmark uh, modern record player, but it's time to play it on this classic uh, wind-up gramophone, the HMV 102. It's my my black one. I've got a green one as well. Uh, this is possibly the first uh, World War One poem that was ever recorded, let alone put on on record on a 78 record. It's by a railway porter called Henry Chapel. It was written in 1914 and it won a competition in the Daily Express newspaper and uh, it was read onto this record by the uh, Shakespearean actor uh, Henry Ainley. Uh, the, the poem is not the greatest uh, World War One poem in my opinion, it's a bit of a rebuke to the, uh, the Kaiser. Apparently the Kaiser was played this record and uh, you know he was really annoyed about uh, uh, the assertion that uh, you know the Germans had started the First World War as such. But uh, it's a, in some ways I think the poem's a little bit crude, it's not a particularly well constructed poem, but it's uh, very interesting to find and quite remarkable to find a World War One poem recorded at the beginning of the First World War. And uh, it's read in sort of very grand Shakespearean manner by uh, Henry Ainley, who was a Shakespearean actor, so he gives it full willy Shakespearean style. The Day, by the, what was no, became known as the Bath poet, Henry Chapel. He was a railway porter. Uh, as his fame grew, the railways offered him the post of station master, but he chose to, to stay a porter because he said it, uh, it enabled him to stay in touch with the people. Here we go, let's have a listen. You might hear a bit of groaning, that's Snowy having a sleep in the corner. Yeah. 